In this video we'll make copies of the animated string from the previous video and synchronize the string vibrations to the ball striking the strings. So open the previously saved scene and let's go into the scene editor and just expand things. We need to copy that base G note that we've been working on and there it is there, it's got the four audio clips attached. and we'll rename it to wiggle string and we just need to go into clip view we need to get rid of the four audio clips and the quickest way is just to zip into clip view and you can see the large clip there just select that and then delete it there and that's the quickest way to get rid of the four uh, audio clips and there it is there and they've gone it still has the wiggle animation attached to it and we need to move the axis back to x equals 0 and y equals 0 because we're going to add this string to the library uh, TrueSpace won't actually copy any objects with deformation animation but uh, quite a good workaround is to add it to the library here so I've selected the object library right click and then click insert and I've added it into the library and just as I'm doing that I've actually deleted the wiggle string because we're going to add it in. So I've created a new layer for the new strings that with wiggles and I've added a string there and I keep adding and I'm rotating around the z-axis and I've set the grid snap settings to 27.7 degrees and there we go I've got them all in and we'll just center our view and let's have a look just push the play button and they all wiggle there so all we've got to do now go back into the scene editor and uh, we just just to help we'll rename all of those so we'll call it wiggle strain string base G wiggle string base A I'll just do the first two and then uh, stop the video and we'll come back there we go all done you can resize the scene editor by dragging on the gutter there and we'll go into clip view and this is just like we've done before we'll be uh, dragging so let's get that first one positioned uh, these clips uh, you can copy copy them the, f the best thing is to get the first one positioned in the right place and that one is at frame 100 and we've got it there and you may need to use the view widget to adjust the view and then I drag the active time control along to frame 220 and then I select the clip and I click on copy and paste and that will paste the next wiggle clip at exactly where I want it. So I'll drag the active timer control along again to frame 310 and click the paste button. Another way of doing this is just to type in the frame number rather than dragging the active time control. So use the documentation that comes with the course to create uh, all these new clips, copy and paste them and there we are, I've done it all took a little while, but not too long and let's have a look we'll just show the balls and we'll drag the active time control and the ball does strike the string and when it hits the string it vibrates so that's it, everything's done all that's left now is just some texturing, some lights and we'll have an animation fairly soon